We've learned over the past year how resilient we are as church and as people of God. Since the pandemic started, we've experienced so much pain, loss, injustice, and uncertainty. It's also been a year of learning, listening, and trying new things, stepping out of our comfort zone and into a more virtual world. This church continues to persevere in so many ways. The churchwide organization continues to walk alongside all expressions and ministries of this church and our partners to provide resources, share stories, engage members, and keep our programs alive. And as we start to see the light at the end of the tunnel of this pandemic, it's much easier to look to the future of what Jesus has in store for us. Imagine more people knowing Jesus. Imagine creating communities of love and justice online and in person. Imagine our congregations filled with new and diverse members. Imagine spending more of our time collaborating with others to have a greater impact in our neighborhoods and in the world. This is what the future of the ELCA will look like. This is an invitation to be part of something that God is doing. It will take all of us putting our heads together, trying new things, failing, but then succeeding and learning from one another, doing what we do best, being church together for the sake of the world. Thank you for your tenacity, generosity, and faithfulness. We know that God has a plan. We are now convinced that God's plan has a church. Good morning. My name is Rafael Malpica Padilla, and I serve as the Executive Director for the Service and Justice Home Area. As you heard from Presiding Bishop Eaton, these have been very challenging and unusual times in our life together. The COVID-19 pandemic brought drastic changes to our private and communal lifestyles. We are thankful for healthcare professionals, first responders, people working in the fields to produce our food and those that distribute them for our consumption. We are thankful for police officers, firefighters, and those protecting us here and around the globe. We give thanks for the scientists that work tirelessly in creating a vaccine to mitigate the impact of this disease in our lives. As I visit with you, the people of God in the EOCA Oregon Synod, I give thanks to God for your fidelity to the gospel. At last year assembly, Bishop Lori Larson Caesar challenged you with a vision, a synod horizon statement, guided and shaped by values and stepping stones. As people that are together on the road, you are committed to be, quote, moved by the mystery of love. You are and are becoming a wild web of communities, cultures, and diverse faith experiences, walking into life as we seek the life of the world together in the spirit Jesus promises. Thank you, Bishop Lori, for your service in the EOCA Conference of Bishops, particularly for your leadership in the Middle East Ready Bench. Thanks also to Ms. Claire Joseph Meyer, serving in the Committee on Discipline, to Pastor Melissa Reed and El Señor Juan Carlos La Puente, serving as Director for Evangelical Mission, and to Mr. Joel Woodell, serving as Regional Manager for the Mission Investment Fund. I also want to thank you for your support for the ministries beyond the boundaries of the, this synod. 
The congregations in your synod made it possible for the synod to share over $368,000 with the churchwide expression to support our ministry together. Our deep faith and strong relationships across the EOCA provide the foundation for mission support sharing each year. Altogether, synods share a total of over $40 million in mission support from all EOCA congregations for the ministries we share together through the churchwide organization. To learn more about the ministry we do together through mission support, check out Stories of Faith in Action. This website has both printed stories and videos that you can share to tell the story of what we do together. Faithful in the Fray is the theme for this year Synod Assembly. Faithfulness is not a one-time kind of platitude in your baptismal journey. It is part of the character, that indelible mark of your Christian, of our Christian identity. As the Apostle Paul reminds us, the fray is hard and challenging. For we know that, quote, our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. How could we be faithful in this fray? Well, the theme for your last Synod Assembly says it all. Walking together toward courageous love. I believe this theme should become the goal for every member, congregation, and synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. We use this word, love, so often that it has been voided from its meaning. The Beatles said, all you need is love. <coughs> and Tina Turner replied, what love got to do with it? You see, at times I wonder if we really know what love is. New Testament scholar Douglas Hare reminds us in his commentary on Matthew that love is, quote, stubborn, unwavering commitment, close quote. That is what we receive from Jesus, and that is what Jesus expects from all of us. In the midst of this pandemic, we were driven by our stubborn, unwavering commitment and by that courageous love toward the neighbor in need. Globally, we provided $2.5 million in support of our companion church's initiatives to respond to this crisis, touching the lives of over 800,000 people. Here at home, we have provided more than $1.5 million in grants to Synod, supporting 830 ministries and reaching out to over 387,000 people. During the year-long pandemic, the Mission Investment Fund provided assistance to investors who needed immediate access to their funds and to borrowers who needed flexibility with their loan payments. We collaborated with our ministry partner, the EOCA Federal Credit Union, 
to offer expedited loans for congregations, ministries, and individuals, as well as paycheck protection program loans for congregations and ministries to keep employees on the payroll and continue operations. We are in the business of touching people's lives for the flourishing of human community. Thank you for this incredible support in what was an extraordinary year in our World Hunger Program. Gifts from individuals and congregations in this synod were part of this effort with over $188,000 for EOCA World Hunger Programs. Thank you for your generous support of our work together. In 2020, this gift to EOCA World Hunger supported a variety of projects and programs around the world and across the EOCA, including work in food security, agriculture, income generation, health, housing, education, peace and reconciliation, migration, gender justice, human rights, and much more. 232 EOCA World Hunger Grants were provided internationally to support the work of our companion churches, organizations, and ecumenical partners in 59 countries. 116 EOCA World Hunger Domestic Grants, four Big Dream Grants, and 360 Daily Bread Matching Grants were awarded across 64 synods. In 2021, Domestic Hunger and Big Dream Grants partners in your synod include the Portland Rescue Mission, Nativity Lutheran Church, and Bethel Lutheran Church. Last year, Lutheran Disaster Response responded in the United States and around the world, walking alongside communities as they were impacted by various disasters, from flooding to tornadoes, hurricanes to earthquake, wildfires to conflict, and needs of people on the move, and of course, the COVID-19 pandemic. Internationally, LDR responded to disasters in 49 countries, providing 132 grants totaling over $4.9 million. 88 of these grants, totaling $2.5 million, were in response to COVID-19. Domestically, LDR responded to the pandemic by supporting 32 synods and three Lutheran social service agencies in 40 states with grants totaling over $920,000. And additional $3 million was provided in response to other disasters that occurred in 2020. Together, we can do much more than what each of us can do apart. This year is the 20th year in which the EOCA Fund for Leaders has awarded scholarships to candidates for ministry studying at EOCA seminaries, and we held the first ever fully virtual awards celebration. For the 2020-2021 academic year, the Fund for Leaders will be supporting 297 candidates for ministry at our ELCA seminaries with just over $2.8 million in scholarship support. Preparations are underway for the 13th General Assembly of the Lutheran World Federation. The host church will be the Evangelical Church of the Osborne Confession, your companion church in Poland. Your work, the work of this synod, reaches the beautiful and warm lands of the African continent as you support Pastor Cynthia Holder Rich and Pastor Mark Rich serving in Tanzania as lecturers in practical theology. 
and Pastor Temba Macbella and Quena Macbella serving in Madagascar as regional representative with the Africa Desk. And finally, don't forget, the EOCA Youth Gathering has been moved to 2022, but it is still in Minneapolis. You can get information on the event now at eoca.org backslash youth gathering. You are walking together toward courageous love. You are faithfully in the fray. In the word and the visible word, the sacraments, we find Jesus' commitment to love us to the end. Writing about the Eucharist, Martin Luther told us about that stubborn, unwavering commitment. He wrote, quote, For the sacrament has no blessing and significance unless Love grows daily and so changes a person that he is made one with all others. Thus, by means of this sacrament, all self-seeking love is rooted out and gives place to that which seeks the common good of all. Close quote. As you walk together, to our courageous love, as you are faithful in the fray. I want to leave you with the words of Raimondo Panicar, a Spanish Roman Catholic priest. He wrote, quote, The great challenge today is to convert the sacred bread into real bread. The liturgical peace into political peace. The worship of the Creator into reverence for the creation. The Christian praying communi community into an authentic human fellowship. It is risky to celebrate the Eucharist. We may have to leave it unfinished, having gone first to give back to the poor what belongs to them. And that, siblings in Christ, is stubborn, unwavering commitment. That's how, my friends, you walk together to our courageous love. That is how you are faithful in the fray. Peace be to you.